Hello, I am Christina Bodulescu from Ericsson. I'm the Etienne VISG Vice Chair, and today's episode will be about network slicing support in Etienne V. Network slice as a term has been used in many views with different meanings. All these, unfortunately, have been mixed up in the literature, and especially the term network slice is used in all of these views, uh, while not always with the same meaning. However, uh, if we want to understand network slicing and especially how these terms are different are used in the different standards fora, then it's best to understand these views. So starting with GSMA, uh, their network slicing task force has clarified it uh, from a business view perspective. So the, the term of business slice, um, as they define it, is not the same as a network slice that we use for uh, resource management purposes. A business slice, for example, is tailored to use cases, um, and that could be for vehicular uh, slices, for vehicular applications, smart factory, and so forth. Whereas when we talk about technical slices, they have a completely different technical characteristics, um, such as low latency, bandwidth focus, low cost, low prices, low requirements on resources and priority, or we can have ultra reliable with high availability and so forth. So from an operational point of view, then network slicing is a way of managing the network along with a set of tools that create uh, special benefits. Various, uh, various um, layers now uh, have been addressed in different fora. Uh, 3GPP has started with their work on network slicing and they defined the concept of network slice and network slice subnet. Uh, from that perspective in at CNIV, uh, we have taken the concepts defined in other fora such as 3GPP, for example, and then fulfilled their requirements from the resources perspective. So when we look at that CNIV release three, uh, uh, work done for network slicing feature, um, we can see that the existing framework, management framework in CNIV already supports most of the requirements needed to support network slicing management functions. Um, and these could be support of nested NS, multi-domain, multi-site uh, connectivity, and uh, inter NIVO interfaces, multi-tenancy, just to name a few. Some of the few requirements that were not addressed were coming from 3GPP, um, and that is where they defined the concept of slice priority. So in 3GPP, different slices can have, different slice instances can have different priorities. From the requirements perspective in at CNIV, the supportive priority attribute was uh, placed in the network service instance um, in order to help the management system to resolve the various uh, conflicts during a resource allocation. For that purpose, additional operations on the network service lifecycle management interfaces um, over OSMA, uh, we added um, notifications that enable a consumer, such as OSS, um, about any shortage in capacity uh, for a specific network uh, service instance. And that allows the consumer to um, further resolve the conflict, intervene, make changes um, as required for that instance. So in terms of network slicing support, um, in order to define the uh, necessary impacts, we started with the requirements uh, and then we implemented the enhancements of the interface and descriptors. The use cases um, defined uh, look at the use of the NIV network services as constituents of network slices. Um, there's been a published report which made the analysis of the use cases and uh, different usage of network slices in other standards bodies. Uh, the, specific, the normative specification outcome uh, was um, basically impacts at stage two. Um, and those come in terms of updating the network service descriptor in the um, NAV IFA 14 GS. Um, requirements and interface uh, specification updates uh, in terms of up impacts to the IFA 10, uh, IFA 13, and also update of a touch point with 3GPP where um, the relationship of one-to-one -one between a network slice subnet and a network service um, has been captured. In terms of functional updates, the network service descriptor includes the deployment uh, in the deployment flavor, the new priority attribute, 
and uh, this is assigned to be assigned by the consumer, which could be a network slice management function, a network slice sub, uh, subnet management function in the OSS. And that's based uh, also in and in correlation with the priority of the slice that uses that instance. Um, the uh, OSMA reference point uh, has now support for um, notifications for LCM coordination purposes to enable the consumer to subsequently resolve priority conflicts, um, as it's possible that resources for a uh, network service with a lower priority might need to be preempted in order to allow them to be used for a network service instance with a higher priority. You can find references to our Etsy and Evi drafts uh, that implemented all the impacts that I presented earlier on the links that are provided on the last slide. Thank you for listening.